like a lab rat. A neat freak dad at home is super busy mom. The boy's best friend is a talking dog. Three extreme jeans and an air breathing shark. Mega action game control is skating in the park. A barrel booster playing blade. What do we make of this? Johnny Test. Johnny Test. This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test. On your mark, get set. What are you dorks up to? Dork racing, and we're throwing it down hard. From here to the edge of Pork Belly. The boat launch, to be exact. First one there is Super Champion of the World! That sounds completely stupid. I think it sounds like fun. Yeah, you're right. We want in. <laughs> Hurry up, we haven't got all day. Hey, no fair! We only have bikes! Fine, we'll share. You get a cart, we get a cart. Boys versus girls. Deal! But we get time out to customize. That cart is way too pink. <laughs> you girls are going down. And on your mark, get set. Sue and Mary, we need your pocket reactor and... Hey, what's going on? We're having a race. Ooh, that sounds like fun. On your mark, get set. Susan Tess, go out on a date with Rosie. I want a race. Uh, I call this the love machine. Ew. I got the need for speed. Uh, where did he come from? Who cares? On your mark, get set. Johnny Test, it is I, Mr. Mittens. And the brain freezer. We are here to finally destroy you and... Hey, what's going on? It's a race, and the winner will be super champion of the world. Hey, I want to be super champion of the world. Well, what's it going to be? You want to destroy me, or you want to race? <laughs> <laughs> on your mark, just go! Gee, he scares me. A street race? In my town? I don't think so. You're going too slow! How are you gonna be super champion when you're driving like my grandma? By cheating, of course! They're gonna freeze us! <laughs> Not if we melt them first! I can't believe it! You hit the right button! You never do that! I know! And now, to hit the turbo boost button and take the lead! Wrong button! I know that! Yes! Nothing can stop us now! Nobody races in my town! Race? <laughs> oh, there's no race. We're just picking up, like, milk? You are all in violation of this town's no street racing ordinance. Well, I'm the general of this country's fine armed forces. And, uh, police race is actually an escape drill for national security. Don't care. I want you all off those things now. Yes, of course. Uh, I mean, go around them. The general rules. We're just following orders. Stop. No, wait. I'm the chief confounded. Are we stopping? We're in the lead! And we're gonna make sure we keep the lead! <laughs> I'm not sure what you're up to, but I like that laugh! Oh, this racing action is making me thirsty! Oh, hey, look! Allow my energy drink to pick you up! It's free and not dangerous, and it'll cool you off! Oh, they look cool! <laughs> Hairball. Uh, Let's not stop for the energy drink. Man, I hate that kid. Yes, we're in the lead. Now let's hit the turbo boost button. To hit the parachute button. Die! Susan Tess, surrender your love and the race to me, for nobody can defeat moi. Ah, in that thing. I bet you anything we 
we will crush you! I was hoping you'd say that! This contract states that if I win, you must go on a date with me! Yes! Now, I must win by taking a shortcut! Didn't see that coming. This is the chain! I want all units to the center of Port Bell. I want a massive roadblock and I want those racers stuck. He's in the lead and too fast! You can't beat me, Susan Tess! So get ready for our day tonight! Here saying racing fever has taken over Pork Belly. Word is spread, and fans are already waiting at the finish line to find out who will be the super champion of the world. Or will they all get nabbed by the Chiefs? They ain't getting by me this time. Well, I'll get reprimanded for this, but I'll probably keep my job. Oh, that is so not fair! Deputizing any truck driver willing to set up a roadblock on Old Lake Road. I'll give you a cool badge and no speeding tickets for a year. Ha! Nobody can catch us! Especially when no one can get over that bridge! <laughs> I should have waited until we crossed the bridge before I froze it. Don't look at me! It was his stupid idea! Awesome! We're gonna catch up! But the bridge is out! Hit the rapid lock brake button! So that's the speed boost button! Ah! Hit the parachute button! Wrong button! I can't! Don't worry, the cart is packed with a massive airbag. Well, that's convenient. Let's go! Yes! We're going to be super champions of the world! Secret agents rule! I'm gonna get a date with Susan! Oh, no, you're not! <laughs> now it's time for my ultimate plan! No more plans! We're winning and your plans stink! Got it? Don't yell at me! Hank Anchorman back with you at the finish line. The crowd is getting big, and even the mayor is here. Well, it's uh, kind of exciting, and, uh, oh, uh, I mean, I want to see justice done, and uh, the races stop. <laughs> Nobody's finishing this race. It's a trap! Over. Let's go home, everyone. Oh, up the hill! It's Johnny, and the kid with the hand is on it! Okay, let's finish this! Game over, kid. Please don't hit a button! You picked bad buttons! Bad! I know! Let's quit! Quitting's good! We might lose this race, but we will not be quitters! Besides, I think I got this button thing down there. Then hit that turbo boost buddy! <laughs> What is he doing? Stop! Well, that was fun. But let's let him off with a warning and do it again next year. Sounds like Johnny won. Well, at least I don't have to date you, Jim. Darn! Johnny Test, you are super champion of the world! What are you gonna do now? Hit one last button. Sleep 
house next to a bowl of potpourri? Oh, that's just wrong. Let's just do what we have to do and get out of here. It does smell nice in here, though. Gil, you love Susan and Mary Test. Call them and ask them on a date. Gil, you love Susan and Mary Test. Call them and ask them on a date. I love Susan and Mary Test. <laughs> Let's roll. It's working. Now pay Johnny. <laughs> And now, our specially designed Hypnopod will turn Gil next door into a test girl lover by morning. But what happens when he wakes up and sees the headphones? He'll think you're freaks. That's why the Hypnopod self-destructs upon waking. Won't that hurt? Yes, 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 yes. That would be a yes. Time for plan B. Yo, dude, do you know where those super groovy test girls live? I got to chill with them. <laughs> True that. You should date them. They are off the hook, yo. <laughs> oh, so sorry, dude. I can't hear a thing. I got my ears singed last night. He will be ours! Gilbot? Yep. And until we figure out a way to snag the real one, Gilbot is the next best thing. But if Gil sees you've duplicated him to serve drinks, he won't like you. Here's the beauty. If Gil comes within 50 feet, Gilbot self-destructs. Come, Gilbot, let's make more lemonade. Johnny bro! Mmm, oh, you gotta smell this pie. We'll never get Gil to like us. Because you're going about it all wrong. The way to a Gil's heart is not through his ears or through technology. It's through his nose. That is ridiculous. But go on. Haven't you ever noticed Gil loves to smell stuff? It's weird. <sighs> Oh, Manure World brand manure. Even your smell I enjoy. Go home, Gil. Uh, Gil knows manure is cow poo, right? Yet he still loves it. So, come up with a perfect smell, and that boy will follow you anywhere. Be here in the morning. We may have something for you to test. <laughs> it's a high-tech sense that perfectly calibrates to the receiver's olfactory preferences. Yeah, you lost us after it's. Basically, whenever someone loves to smell, you become that smell. And you're gonna test it. What? Why would I help you more? And why would I wear perfume? And what do I get out of this? If this works, you won't have to take a bath ever. <laughs> We're in. The Aroma Master Matic will analyze your own natural oils, enhance your natural likability, and blah, blah, blah. Just make Johnny and Dog smell good. <laughs> Okay, just one little spritz. That's it? I don't smell anything. It's a test, Johnny. You always start with a microdosage. And it will take a while for the special ingredient to take effect. What special ingredient? Are we going to blow up? Confess! It's dark matter, a subatomic space age technology that can, in the wrong proportion, attract things other than gill. So just listen to us and go smell good. <laughs> Okay, time to hand back your exams. And all I can say to most of you is, you might want to learn a trade. F, C, C, F, F, F. Johnny, you also get a big, fat... A! For smelling like my mom's fresh baked apple rhubarb pies. Sweet. Johnny, you smell like the spring slaughter in the farms of Hamburg when I was a child. So I give you giant Hamburg with cheese. Awesome. Hey, test. I want that burger and... But you smell just like the morning dew in my rose garden. Yes, I admit it. I love roses and I love you, test. I'm the most popular kid in school. I'm the most popular dog on the block. <laughs> Can you imagine if we had more of this crud on? We might get money. Or our own game show. Or my parents to let us do whatever we want. Or stay, or stay, or stay. To the lab. How's the test going? What's that? Uh, oh, yeah, perfume of yours. Yeah, no, I had no effect. I think we need more. No effect? Because to us, you smell just like... Yeah. <laughs> With a hint of plutonium. Nope, nothing, not a zelch. Johnny needs more smelly stuff. Fine. <laughs> Johnny, wait, it's too much. What was that big scary noise? That amount of perfume could attract more than people, Johnny. Its dark matter compounds could attract... 
Well, we're not sure. Well, I'm sure I'll get more food at school, cash, and love from mom and dad, so I'll never get in trouble again. Now, let the Johnny Smells Good Pate begin. Johnny, have we told you how much we love you? And we love you too, Dookie! So much! You smell like the world's most amazing meatloaf! And Johnny smells like a chocolate truffle that you can squeeze! Too much love! Dog. Oh, I think we overdid it. Yeah. A meteor! Yeah, that's bad, right? Yes. And the meteor is heading straight for Porkberry, sir. And more specifically, Johnny Test. Yeah, that figures. Hey, but cool. We can use our new mobile missile system. Destroy the meteor! Fire! Yep, Johnny's a goner. Wait, so are we. We gotta save Johnny to save ourselves. We gotta get this stink off of us. <laughs> Keep running! Why is a meteor aimed at Johnny? The positive ions of the dark matter in Johnny's perfume must be bonding with the meteor's negative ions. How do we stop it? Two ways. One, we can reverse Johnny and Dookie's attraction quotient so that it repels the meteor before it hits pork belly. Or two, eliminate Johnny and Dookie. Mm. I suggest we try the first one. The antidote must be organic in nature to counteract the inorganic particles in the meteor. We have no idea what you just said. We need a helicopter and we need to make Johnny smell really bad fast! <laughs> Hundreds of girls after me! It's my number one nightmare! <laughs> of your problems. Say what? Let's just say a meteor wants to get to know you better, too. Whoa! Ah! Didn't see that coming. Hang on! We're going to block your good stink with bad stink. What kind of bad stink? Bum, so <laughs> Missiles. Worst experiment ever. Fire! No! We did it! And might I add, somebody get these boys in a bath! Can we get out now? Not even close. Bath number 19, coming up! 